All right, welcome back everyone. So this is going to be the beginning of Unit 2. And Unit 2's title is Creating Systems to Manage Information. So essentially what we're going to be doing is creating databases using Microsoft Access. This is only the introductory video, okay? I still have a few videos to finish for Unit 1. And as soon as I finish that, hopefully by the next half term, I should have most of my Unit 2 videos started or either finished. So let's get cracking. All right, so you need to start the question. So hopefully you're doing this stuff with your school. Hopefully uh, you know some of this stuff. If you don't, these are typically the things that you're going to want to have a general knowledge of, right? So what is RDBMS? Types of RDBMSs. What is a table? What is a field? Um, typical stuff that makes up a database. What is SQL? So it's structured query language you need to know what this is you need to know how to do very very basic things in sql what are the key differences between text files and csv files uh, what is import and what is export this last part here where it says what is import and export importing text files into the uh, database used to be a very big part of the exam as far as i'm aware that's no longer the case so even though I will try to touch on this as much as I can, it won't be a very big part of what I do here. Next, we have the content summary. So these are all the things you need to be able to do to get a distinction, a pass, and a merit in the exams. So A01 says we need to demonstrate knowledge of database development terminology, standards, concepts, and processes. A02, apply knowledge and understanding of database development terminology, standards, concepts, and processes to create a software product and meet a client brief. So again, these two will be for pass. For AO3, we need to analyze information about database problems and data from test results to optimize the performance of a database solution. That's for a merit, so we just moved up one grade there. AO4, we need to evaluate evidence to make informed judgments about the success of a database's design and performance. Again, that's still for merit. Finally, for AO5, we need to be able to develop a database solution to meet a client brief with appropriate justification. So quite simply, do everything right this is not a hard exam it's moved from being well that's going to be on the next slide actually um let me just quickly skip this part so type of assessment is going to be a practical exam it's now five hours it used to be 10 hours when i did this back in uh, college it was a 10 hour exam so it took two full days two and a half hours two and a half hours or three two three two that's how it used to work as you can see, it's going to be over one week. So your school has a one week that one week period in which they have to send it off. So they have a, a deadline date where they have to send off what, you, what you've done. So part A is going to be three hours long and part B is going to be two hours long. You must achieve at least a pass grade in the unit to pass the course. I think that's quite obvious. Uh, two assessment opportunities. So you get to do, for example, one exam in January and another one in May. And I'm not entirely sure about this, but if you do not pass the one in May, I believe you can retake it sometime in June stroke July. 